this is a testimony video of sharing with you a little bit of my journey and what the Lord has taught me in fighting the good fight of faith. For years and years, I was a Christian, but I was not walking in the power of the Lord. I didn't understand it. I was getting so many spiritual attacks and tribulation and trials and I was really very frustrated because I felt I was doing something wrong. I got battered back and forth by the enemy. I felt like I was a ship in the seas getting tossed to and fro. I had very little understanding on how to understand the power of God and how to fight back with the demonic attacks that I kept getting. A few months before I became baptized in the Holy Spirit, I remember crying out to the Lord for help. I remember asking Him, where is your power in my life? I don't see it and I feel so defeated. And I remember crying this to Him several times. And it was then that the Lord started to answer my cry. In his word, it says that when the righteous cry out, he hears them. And that's in Psalms 34, 17. And it also says that we will find him only when we seek him with all of our hearts and souls. That's Deuteronomy 4:29. And brothers and sisters, that's the place that the Lord brought me. He brought me to a place of truly crying out to him from my heart and seeking him with all of my heart. That's when I started receiving answers from him. That's when I got to understand the power of his life coming through me. The Lord started opening my eyes through the Holy Spirit and I started to see the demonic influence that were harassing me. I started learning about strongholds, curses, generational curses, word curses, and the open doors that let the enemy in. It was like a crash course that the Lord brought me through on how to free myself from the demonic entities that I had given permission to come into my life. I was shown that it was my sins, not only the obvious big sins, but the small and unassuming ones that were opening the doors. They gave the enemy permission to enter my life. Now this was a new reality for me to even understand. I was unintentionally opening these doors myself. Now I was beginning to understand why the Lord asks us to live holy, consecrated, sanctified, and repented lives. Because when we sin, it is an open door or porthole. This is an important concept to understand. I then asked the Lord to reveal to me what demons I had unintentionally let in. And boy, I was surprised what I heard because there were several. Not only that, I learned that they come in groups. They had backup pools with them. The initial sins that the Lord showed me that I was dealing with at the time was fear and anxiety. And these are two demonic entities that continue even today still to try to harass me. But now I recognize them and I'm able to do warfare on them and get rid of them quickly. These are two big ones that do harass Christians, fear and anxiety. However, any negative emotion has a corresponding demon that waits in the dark shadows to come in. Some of the negative emotions that I could think of that I've had to deal with in my life are fear and anxiety, stress, worry, Bitterness, anger, frustration, irritation, resentment, hopelessness, impatience, depression, despair, despair, discouragement, jealousy, loneliness, sadness, 
panic, rejection, hurt. Those are just a few negative emotions that can bring in these demons. Now I want to bring to you two quick solutions that can help in dealing with these negative emotions that bring in these demons. First is we're to ask for forgiveness, get right with the Lord through prayer and worship. The counterpart to these negative emotions is the fruit of the Spirit. And that's what we seek to rest our minds on. We don't want to be always in a state of negative emotions. We want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And in Galatians 5, 22-23, it talks about if we're walking in the Spirit, the fruit will naturally be displayed through love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Once we ask for forgiveness, the Lord is faithful to forgive our sins, and then the door has been shut for further demonic entities entering in. So the second thing we do is we expel this corresponding demon that we have allowed in, the one that is harassing us. And we do that through standing on the word of God and commanding the demon to flee from your life. I have a small little, uh, I don't want to call it a prayer, but a spiritual warfare tactic that I say, and it goes something like this. I say, in the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and through the power of the blood, I stand on the word of God that says, if I submit myself to God, resist the devil, he must flee. I stand on James 4, 7. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke, resist, repel, expel, and loose myself from the demon of, and you put whatever you want in there, anxiety, let's say. According to the word of God, you must flee now and go to the pit or where Jesus Christ commands you to go and never return. Flee, flee, flee. That's the prayer I say, but the Lord might lead you to a different prayer. But that is a sample one for you. And I have that in my blog. I've written this article. And the article is in my blog, and the link is down below for you all. So if you want to go ahead and read it for yourselves and use it for your own spiritual warfare. Now, obviously, there is a lot more on how to receive self-deliverance from our enemy. But this is a good start, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to share with you a little part of my journey. Hopefully, it will help you. And benefit you as well you know the Lord wants to set us free and so he has given us all the power that we need to be set free we just have to know how to use the tools he's given us therefore if the Son has made you free you shall be free indeed John 8 36